Hello everyone, welcome to another sniper tips video on the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you the complete guide so you can have the best aim in Call of Duty Mobile and use maximum accuracy on your DLQ-33. It is very important that you watch until the end because I will use these tips in real time in gameplay so you can understand better I'm not going to use any legendary skin. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do part 2. So let's go. Many players say, Venon, how you have such a good response time? I have a great response time because I use up gear game booster with it. I don't have lag or high ping. It's very simple to use. You just need to download the app, choose the game, activate all permissions, and that's it. You'll no longer have problems with lag or high ping. In my last video, I was asked by a subscriber how I had a big scope. It's simple. I'll explain how to apply this as a tip. To change the sniper's scope, there are two ways. The first, and by activating the distance option in Gunsmith. In the settings you can set it to 100 to distance. When you use it at 0, the size becomes large. When you use it at 100%, it becomes smaller. I trust my accuracy more than movement. If you combine my previous tips video on scope speed and this one on having more precision, you will be unbeatable. The link will be in the description or on the card. Watch. The next tip that will make you have better accuracy is also the second way to reduce the scope. I'm talking about the realistic scope. When you activate the realistic scope, the scope becomes smaller and the central one becomes larger. This makes it easier to see when opening the scope. Another perfect way for you to improve your accuracy and using reticles. There are several reticles and they are free. You can do missions and unlock. Customized reticles will help you have a better view of the enemy and where you should hit. This reticle, for example, it indicates the correct location so you can always shoot. This avoids hit marks. Use a custom crosshair to get a better idea of where you should put your scope. For this you can use icons on your HUD and transform it into a custom crosshair. This is a safe way you can have custom crosshairs and you won't be banned for using third-party crosshairs. It is very easy to use. Most professional players use the custom crosshair to get a better idea of the field. The correct way to use the custom sight and use it to follow the enemy at the right height. So when you open the scope, you will direct the shot at the right target. The time has come when I'm going to use a gameplay to give examples. Take a pen and paper to write everything down, and let's go. As I told you in hardscope, wait for the right time to shoot. You need to be patient to hit accurately. If the enemy is running, wait for the right time to shoot. That means if he didn't see you, and only you are seeing him, if you miss the shot, he will know your location. A lot of the time we miss the target. This is normal, but if you are in a duel with the enemy and miss the first shot, you need to leave or move to improve the angle. Improving the angle, you will get it right more easily. When an opponent is targeted, you have little time to gain an advantage over him. Always keep your central aim in the middle of the screen to get a hit. Always look to see if anyone is with him. There is always an enemy next to each other. If you are calm, you will do a good job. A lot of the time, if you hit marks or you don't hit, don't stay in the same place to shoot again, leave immediately, and then come back. Many times you must use the hardscope. Venon, what is a hardscope? Hardscope. And when you open your sights to get a better view, or look for a hidden or passing enemy. And it is important to see. You always do this because you can catch the enemy hiding or passing by. As you can see, I used the hardscope several times here in the example I'm looking for enemies. They are close, and I know that. So it's always good to always open the scope. If you see an enemy with a closed scope, and you open it to hit him, he will have an advantage over you. And that is not good. I'm not saying that you should camp, but use the hardscope correctly. When you know the enemy is close to you, that's a strategy. Always using your secondary weapon is also important. This will be an easier way for you to have an advantage. 
There are situations in which you don't always need to play 100 sniper. There are points on maps where you need to use the hard scope because someone from the opposing team will always see that their ally has died and go after it. So wait, if no one comes, switch to another position. You can also move forward and separate yourself from everyone to catch enemies from behind. That's strategy. In this clip, I did that. I went around the map while my team stayed at the base. That was risky, but I used the right equipment to not be seen. When my team arrived, I had already taken the most important members of the team and defused the bomb. Chasing campers is also important, but outside of their sight, you should never run into their sights but somewhere else. Once again, I say, if you are using a hard scope, you will always have an advantage over the enemy. Many players do not use it correctly, and only open the scope when they see the enemy. This is not the case, will help you have a good aim in Call of Duty Mobile. I believe these tips were valuable for you, because they explain my way of playing to have better precision. Now I'm going to show you the equipment I used, and I'll explain. That situation where I showed in the gameplay that I could deceive enemies. I used the deadly silence perk so they wouldn't hear my footsteps when I was walking or running. The other accessories are for speed and precision, the hardness perk will prevent the hit reaction this prevents the aim from going up when you are hit. Another essential accessory is the silencer, because using it when you shoot, you will not be seen on the map, and your shot will not make much noise. This gunsmith is used by pro players in the world. It is a tactical gunsmith focused on precision. In the end, copy the code. It's important to use FMJ to shoot through walls too. Another piece of equipment that you shouldn't use is the laser. Because when you open the scope, the laser reveals your position. This is not good. We are reaching the end of the video. This video will help many people. Share it with your friends. Copy the code. Thank you very much to everyone who stayed with me until the end. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos until the next video. Bye!